one of the biggest dangers to a driver is wanting to win too bad. I was really up on the wheel on the starting line, and I went 004 on the tree, which is four thousandths from being perfect. And I was out front for a long time, and I could see him and knew that I was winning. So the first time the car is dangling the front end, dangling the front end, dangling the front end, and I knew that the power was coming. The power comes in and it picks the front end up. When I blip the throttle, it starts to set down and I stand back in it. As it's coming up, it catches air. You stick a car up in the air at 160 miles an hour and it'll take flight. The air force coming lifted the car up like an airplane. At that point, the car was running 170 miles an hour. It was on the bumper for so long, I had no concept of where I was on the racetrack. So I completely lose track of where I'm at. At that point, I know I'm in trouble. Trying to get bearings, I'm looking to the side. It, it, I was weightless for what seemed like five minutes. I'm completely weightless. I was hoping I was still in between the walls because what you don't want to do is get on that side of the wall and hit the scoreboard or hit it when these telephone poles. Tensed up, balled up as hard as I can. I know that the bad wreck is coming. As soon as it started wrecking, I had no bearing where I was at. I was hoping I wasn't anywhere near him. As it's rolling and rolling and rolling, it slides, flips over. I notice that I'm sliding upside down. At that point, fuel is everywhere and it lights and there's a big fireball under the front end. I'll let you know if he's okay. There is a fire down there. There's a fire. And all I'm thinking is I'm gonna die. I'm gonna burn to death in this race car. I radioed on the crew. I told Phil, I said, I'm burning up. I said, you gotta get down here. I'm on fire. Oh man, oh man, as the fire is going on, Steve passes Shadow waiting on the top end to make sure he's okay. Fire is the most scary thing about drag racing. I'm petrified of it. So I'm hanging upside down in the seat. We run a cam lock seat belt. So I flip it, of course you fall to the roof like a sack of potatoes, right? My legs are all twisted up. I can't get out. I can't get the door open. And all I'm thinking is I'm gonna die. I'm gonna burn to death in this race car. There's 20 gallons of methanol under there, nitrous oxide's on board to run the shifter. I'm thinking this thing's gonna explode. So finally I get the door latch open and I think I kicked the door open. As soon as it come open and I rolled out of that thing, man, that's like the best, best feeling in the world, get out to the air. I think I took off running, I think I ran over a paramedic and knocked her down and I need to go apologize to her. Immediate pain everywhere. My neck, my head hurts, legs tore up pretty good. Uh, other knees, shins, fingers, everything hurts. I'm trying. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm all right. Car's destroyed, about $150,000, you know, it is wrecked. It's gonna take a lot financially to come back from this. In terms of cost, pain, potential injury, that was pretty heartbreaking.